One of my favourite innovations from the aftermarket recently has been canopy masks. Edwards are particularly nice, they're very flexible, tough, uh, low tack but they remain in place and they do go round tight curves quite nicely. One or two little hints for how to get the best of them. I find when you get the mask set they're all stuck together on a, a single sheet and there's tape between them. Uh, sometimes the corners are still not completely cut out and getting them off the backing sheet can be a little tricky. The best way to get round that, and it's difficult to show you on the film because it's all just this bright yellow glare, is to remove all the spare tape leaving just the individual pieces. I think you can see it there. And that way you don't get lost in a maze of tiny little pieces of masking tape. So once you've done that, once you've cleared all the waste tape from the sheet, getting them up, I find if you take a number 11 scalpel blade, just slip it under the edge very gently. And then I pick them up with a pair of tweezers, nice sharp straight edged tweezers, and you can put them into position very easily line them up in one corner and tamp them into place with a cocktail stick that painless when you come to take them off again after you've painted you have to be careful because you'll find that by the time they've had a couple coats of clear a couple coats of varnish a couple coats of paint on top of them they're going to be quite tightly sealed around the edges you need to get under the edge without damaging the transparency underneath. Again I use a cocktail stick for that and then pull them off with tweezers. If you get the... don't try slipping a scalpel blade under the edge of the mask because you can damage the transparency just push it up slightly with the cocktail stick and I know it's very tempting to try and get them off intact so you can reuse them but just tease it off with the point of the scalpel and then pull it off with the tweezers and there you have it. That's a um, beautiful job of the masking. It's a shame that the canopy is about 20 years old and looks like it's been carved out of a fox's glacier mint. But there we are. Can't be helped. So we'll just try another one. We're going to tease the mask up very slightly with the cocktail stick so that we can, again, slip the edge of the blade underneath it and pull it off with the tweezers. And there you end up with a nicely masked frame and you haven't damaged it while taking it off and well these things have to be honest changed my life as a modeler I hate masking canopies the most onerous task imaginable but these are simply marvelous and I can recommend them highly